Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 17 and 18 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 17 in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, allergies, you already screwed me over in one video. Don't screw me up in another. Oh my god. honestly thought Mido was gonna die I mean seriously just the way it was showed from last week's episode he was like oh this girl about to die and we about to have no Mida in this show Seriously, you told and it's like, mm, let me come down my eye awards. Like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, fuck you, you little bastard, you little shit. Ah, <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know, you ever wanted to smack the crap out of an anime child? Him. I don't like him. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, and he might still be totally helpless against you now, but you know, he, he still got Benny O and. <laughs> freaking brothers to tell their sisters to shut up. First it was Aaron and now it's this child. What is wrong with you? I mean the worst thing is to tell you simply either to shut up or I've always hated you. You were a slave. Every time when I got those headaches it was because of you. Yeah, honestly, you should just take Mida and just go.
Oh. Oh. But of course he ain't dead. That'd be a little too easy, right? I know, just stay down. Is this about to be another show where he dies in? See, no, we. <laughs> but you can't handle him on your own.
So, um, this some BS, okay? felt like he was only in this show for like what two three episodes maybe even more but then it's like okay yeah we're gonna go ahead and kill him now I didn't want him to die. Like, damn. <laughs> Oh, he had to, of course. Because he doesn't care, that's the thing. Of course he would say there.
No, you should just tell him. You can't keep a secret like that from just yourself. knows because he's already lost his arm Well, open it. I mean, dang. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, oh, he's so fucking precious. <laughs> Can't do it. Oh. Mm -hmm.
He looks good though. He looks good as fuck, but this is a death wish. He might die. I mean, he main character, so of course he ain't gonna die, but like, he might get seriously hurt. That's the thing. And they don't want him, you know. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want him to go by himself, but of course, I mean, that's Rokuro. Rokuro, you know, acts before he thinks sometimes. And now, I mean, from. The 16 episodes we've seen as of right now, we're not going to count this one just yet until we get to <clears throat> 18. Wokodo has always been, you know, there's no I in team. They both have been, there is no I in team. But because of the fact is, it's them against the world. Yes, they've been there to, you know, pick each other up and build each other up. But the fact is that, you know, Wokodo now wants to go on his own and do this and... Who knows what Benny is going to say to him. She might say, no, like, don't go. We do this together. We're a team. Like, let me help you. But then if she even says that, he might say no to her as well. Do not kill Sergen, please. Just, I mean, seriously. Is it him sacrificing himself and now he, he, he's just there. He, he's in between life and death and we don't know if he's going to survive. I mean, oof. God, we still got a long way to go before we're done with this dang show. But, like, I can't. <laughs> oh, you look so pretty. But the thing is, like, okay. And I've been wanting to know this, like, ever since we found out the situation of... The connection between her brother and Mokoro and then specifically also her. Can she really do this? That's the question because looking I don't know how in the world this show is going to end because like I said we're nowhere near the end of this show. We still have a long way to go but you know looking at her from when the first time she found out that her brother was alive and everything and that you know her brother is a big old a-hole and such um you you could see because she kind of gives me freaking Mikasa vibes and specifically after the, the double episode of Attack of Titan we got this past week and how you know Aaron was saying all this and that to Mikasa and then you know Adamine comes in and he's like yeah you know what for saying all that I'm about to beat the crap out of you but Mikasa is like no because she is very protective of him and <laughs> the way she is and such she literally just like went like nah like I don't mean like mm -mm, not even you our best friend is gonna come between you know me and Aaron and it's like that and at first that's what she was uh Benio was like for Yuto and especially because of the fact that she didn't want anyone to hurt him and such but now that because she's seen how truly evil he is as a character and as a person and not only as a person but as a brother I think now she can't accept him but like I said the biggest question is can she by the end of this series truly or even in the next episode because I don't think it's gonna be that easy they're gonna be like yeah we're gonna go ahead and kill him off in episode 18 they're going to build him up as a character because of course he is the main antagonist of this entire show and of course as these two they need to be built up as well and so you know we get to the final episode and he is officially dead dead but um, I don't know, something just tells me she still might hesitate because that is her brother and that is her family member. Even though he is truly evil, she still wants to see the good in him. Ever since he's been back into this, he's made an appearance into this show and she found out that, oh, hey, my brother's officially alive and not dead. Um, she's more of a certain type of way but I, you know I think she can do it I just we gotta wait and see but I, I don't know I don't know I really don't know it's just I want her to triumph over this this is going to be a big milestone this is already a big milestone for her but who knows what the fuck is gonna happen next for her <laughs> and her story with Rokuro and her brother but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 18 Okay, episode 18 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm
told you. probably don't think they're gonna be uber powerful to defeat him just yet because i mean it would be interesting if yes they could but something tells me like <laughs> it might be like a fake you <laughs> don't i mean honestly let's think about that really think about that because you never know what the heck could happen because he could have um oodles and oodles and oodles of copies of himself and so he just uses them for the right time and the next thing you know he actually comes out and he's uber powerful than he was in the first copy and then da -da 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 and stuff. And they're like oh my god i can't we can't defeat him like what are we going to do I mean, because, like, like I said, it seems a little too easy to go ahead and kill him now in, like, almost the first half of this show. That's what I love about Benio. Benio was always prepared. Benio was like, here's my shit. Like, mm. <laughs> I was like, wrong girl. I would have been like, mm. <laughs> We gonna fight. Then we gonna talk. <laughs> you know, okay. This is another way to compare them. Benio is book smart and Rokuro is street smart. <laughs> Jesus Christ, mother, you are really jacking your nails up in that like <laughs> But who even knows if that's going to be able to defeat him? I mean, yes, that thing is really powerful, but is it powerful enough to defeat a brother? I don't 
speak to him. He just holding hands. video. <laughs> Damn it, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but honestly, I think you guys got this. Yeah, you need a break. Mm-mm. 
to drink. Where are you going though? No. It may make you feel better. You know? You're just scared, and it's okay to be scared, Benny. You're scared. If you want to do this, you got to be 100% all in. Okay to be scared though. Mm -hmm. So you have to go all in.
<laughs> In a way, you become your own person. So you go take that armor, you put it on, and you go kick your brother's ass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Jesus! No. These are cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mom. Yeah. 
Exactly. Is it weird that just this feels like it's the final, like we're getting into the final few episodes of this show really more for the first half and then the like whole series? However this goes next week, I mean honestly like if they do kill Yuto successfully i i just want to know like who is going to be the next villain after you told like it's got to be someone else who has a connection to both rokuro benny and yuto but i also still think that you know maybe this yuto that they're about to go against is just like a projection a fake one and you know the real yuto is somewhere else just watching them it's like oh hey like yeah you did it you did really good against this fake one but you know when you go against the real one me <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to defeat me like you think you are able to i don't know i mean the fact that you know bunny had her nightmare ran to her grandma got a confidence Oh my god. Excuse me. Got a confidence boost. And was ready to go against her own brother. Because like at first I thought Benny was just gonna like, Yeah, I'm running away and I'm never coming back. Bye, Rokuro. You on your own. Because of course she is scared. And he is scared too. Who knows how this is gonna end for both of them. And if this is going to make them better people by the end of this fight. Because at the end of the day, all they have is each other. They, yes, they still have everybody else who's been with them since day one, but it's them against the world. It's them against Yuto. Oh, of course, he, he's going to come back. God, just, I'm, I'm really scared. Because <laughs> anything could happen with episodes 19 and 20. This could make or break it. <laughs> I don't think they're they're gonna kill Rokuro and Penio because they're they're the main characters. Yes, there have been animes before that do kill off their main characters. I mean, come on now, it's anime. But I don't think they would kill them off just yet. I think they would wait until the final final episode, which we are nowhere near there yet. Um, to essentially, if they wanted to kill them, then yes, kill them. Unlike you know my personal favorite show, where like yeah, they were like <laughs> we're gonna build all these characters up, and then in the second half we're gonna kill them, you know, because it's right because they are the bad guys, even though they're technically also the good guys at the same time. But what is a guy? What's a bad guy? You know, mm, truly. But I mean, yeah, I just I really need these two to defeat Yuto. Whether it's the real one or it's a fake, he needs to be defeated. And that'll be one thing that they accomplish. And whatever's next is whatever. Is anything, really, truly. But, of course, we gotta wait till fucking next week. Because, you know, whatever the fuck this outcome is gonna be. I don't know. Am I gonna cry? I don't, I don't think I'll cry. Because... <laughs> I mean, I've gotten attached to these two, but because they, they have so many cute fucking moments together. And the fact is, as I said, yes, they build each other up. They, you know, when one is struggling, the other one's there to be the biggest cheerleader and vice versa and such. So I think, you know, their greatest power that they have is each other. And I'm glad that, you know, they have like something to accomplish their goal. And that is killing the shit out of you, though. So, yeah, let's hope and pray that next week, you know, mm, it happens. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 17 and 18 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 19 and 20. Bye, guys.